Hi everyone, today we're back as a homeowner. I'm starting off a morning here in the garage. Last week guys, we got back from fall camping and I was so busy I just put everything inside. So this morning I wanna get things cleaned up here. The dirt buggy and the dirt bike are covered in mud. So let's get out the pressure washer and get to cleaning. Like always guys, there's a full mods list linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, hit that like button, it is much appreciated. The fall camping trip was a lot of fun here, definitely we'll have to try to fit in another one before uh, it gets too cold here. But guys, it is a beautiful fall day here. It is a little brisk out at about uh, 55 degrees with a little bit of wind, but look at that guys. With fall, we have the leaves changing, and this is one of my favorite times of the year. You could go apple picking, you could go to pumpkin patch, and that is uh, awesome there. But soon though, we will have to get the leaves cleaned up. Let's see if we can find Diesel. He's always out running around here now. He's been going all around the house and uh, coming in at night because it is super cold here. I'm not sure exactly where he is. Good boy, Diesel. Good boy. Every time uh, he sees him at uh, his dog house, he always comes running over. He knows I give him uh, quite a bit of treats and a big full bowl of food here. But we have to get going on a few things. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll uh, see Diesel later on. With the seasons changing in winter around the corner, I ordered a snowplow for the truck here. Our driveway is just too big to snow blow, and I also want to make some extra money snow plowing some driveways, so I ordered a plow for the Ram 2500, and guess what? It arrived, and I already booked my appointment, so they're going to put the uh, plow mount frame on, and we're going to get the plow this morning here. They said it's only going to take about a half hour, so let's go head on over there. An awesome cold start here. One of my favorite things about winter is hearing the cold starts, especially on the V8s and on the diesels here. But this truck, guys, is going to get a pretty good workout uh, since they are saying that we are going to be getting a lot of snow this year. And I'm really excited for that. I'm just a huge fan of uh, snow, but a few things. We need to get our snowmobile ready to go here. I just bought a trailer for it, so we need to get an oil change and get that prepped uh, so we get it ripped around all winter. As a homeowner, I'm always doing some sort of project. Something always seems like it's breaking. And I actually had to do some cleaning to the fireplace so that I could have uh, it in use. And I did have to do a few miscellaneous things here. But so far, so good. Nothing yet has broken here. I think last uh, month or something, we had a water leak and I was able to get that fixed. But nothing too big. The local shop in town will be putting the plow on here. And oh, look at that. It's right out front for us. Wow, that looks like an awesome plow. So I decided to go here with a Western Wideout. A V plow, guys, was not in my budget. Those are upwards of nine to 10000 And this one here was almost half the price. Now, this is a 8-foot plow with a full wing to about 11 feet here. So we'll be able to move a lot of snow. But I'm going to go inside. I'm probably just going to sit in the waiting room, probably go on my phone and look at any marketplace deals. All right, they got the plow mount on, guys. It took about 25 minutes here, a little bit shorter than what I was thinking here. They got all the wiring, so we're all good to go. Let's just double check to make sure the plow works here. We'll check out the wings here. Just want to make sure. And wow, that is awesome. Now, I'm super excited for this plow. And like I mentioned, guys, winter is right around the corner. Usually around Thanksgiving is when we get our first big snowfall there. Now I'm going to be advertising online, trying to find probably 10 to 15 driveways at the least. Because I want to make some extra money uh, plowing some snow. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite season? I think for myself, it's probably going to be fall, just with the beautiful scenery here. I kind of like the temperature as well. It's not too hot, and it's not too cold here in the fall leaves. It is just awesome here, and you guys can see, we'll enjoy a few more weeks before they uh, all fall off the tree. We're back at the house, and we're going to be doing something pretty big now. Why don't we get the uh, truck uh, parked right about here? Now, one thing, guys, I always try to keep the plow on the ground when uh, I'm not driving it. That way, it just takes that extra weight off the suspension. But, guys, we are going to be doing something quite big here. It's going to be probably one of the biggest projects we've tackled in quite some time. As you guys know, we have a lot of off-road toys, and we have quite a few vehicles. Look at that. We have five vehicles in our four-car garage, and you guys can see, look at this. I mean, this is 
full. We can't fit anything else inside. So today we're going to be building a barn that I'm going to be putting all the off-road toys. And I do want to move the boat. That way the Cummins could park inside here. We should be able to clear up quite a bit of room here. So let's get to building it. All right, guys, we got it built. Here it is. I'm super excited for it. Now, I wanted to go with a barn style. That way, it, it could be off to the side of the property. But here it is. It's about 35 feet long, uh, about 16 feet wide. Here we have a nine-foot garage door. But the big thing, guys, is what I'm super excited for. I'm not sure what we should do. Let me know down below. But we have kind of a loft area here. Look at this. So I'm thinking, why don't we build this into a game room here? Maybe we could start some sort a collection of model cars uh, of tractors things like that here i mean this is a lot of room here we could uh frame a wall here put a door we could get insulation get heat ac and i think this would be awesome and then you can see we have a great view of the property wow this is gonna work out quite well here i'm super excited for it so why don't we get to, uh, to moving things and i want to bring the boat i want to bring uh all the big things over here Just with a 25 foot boat and the snowmobile inside here, we have quite a bit of room, which is a good thing. I really want to see if we can fit uh, as much as we can. Now, one thing is, I do want to leave a little bit of a walking path here. That way, we could still go upstairs. And like I mentioned, let me know down below what you guys think of this. I think this was the way to go here. I want to keep all my toys, and I definitely don't want to have to sell anything here. But up next, I really want to see if we could get the uh, fertilizer spreader detached here and see if we could get the uh, tractor loader, uh, loader back together, and then we could put it over there. All right, we just got everything attached here. Only took about uh, five to 10 minutes here. Once you do it a few times here, you get pretty efficient at it, but let's see guys. I think probably backing this in is gonna be the way to go. That way the backhoe could overhang on that side of the trailer since uh, that is how it's designed. Here, let's keep on going here. We wanna be able to fit as much as we can Almost like a little jigsaw puzzle because not every time are we going to be using these, especially the boat or the snowmobile. Oh yeah, that's going to fit in here, no problem. Next up, we have the zero turn mower. We'll be using this here, but for now, I am thinking we'll just get it uh, put inside here. Now, I might take the bucket off the uh, Mahindra. That might be the way to go here, but wow, there's so much room in here. Even with all these big uh, toys, we still have room for more things. I'm thinking the last thing I want to put over there, guys, is actually going to be the electric ATV here. That way, uh, we cleared up quite a bit of space. Some of these things have to go to storage here, which uh, I'm not too worried about there. But wow, guys, we really uh, uh, kind of emptied that out quite a bit. And we could definitely fit more in here, especially if we aren't going to go up uh, upstairs to that loft area. We could definitely uh, uh, rearrange to get a little bit more uh, things in here. But we'll get the garage closed. I think that was a really good purchase that barn altogether costs about forty thousand dollars and i think that's well worth it for the price we paid i'm just trying to do some nice organization here now i do want to bring uh, the uh dirt buggy inside here this one we could actually probably put actually why don't we put it over here to give us a little bit more room oh yeah that will fit no problem there this dirt buggy was a ton of fun guys out on the mountain trails here definitely liked it and I think for uh, the money we paid for this, this uh, kind of kit car that you put together is a really, really good thing here. And I kind of like that it doesn't feel as safe as maybe a, a factory built one that kind of adds to it here. But we'll get these rolled inside here, but we're almost done with this. I actually want to go play some farm sim with a few buddies. So we're going to be right on time to go join them in some multiplayer, which is going to be great here. We'll just get the uh, Kawasaki... All right, there we have it. We got the last of the dirt bikes in there. So why don't we see if we could put the uh, Cummins dually now. What I'm thinking now, guys, to give us a little bit more space, I want to put a lift in here, a four-post lift, maybe a two-post, really depends on pricing. That way we could uh, put a truck up top, especially for storage this winter. This Cummins being a crew cab, eight-foot bed with a snowplow, guys, is a super long truck, but 
look at that guys it fits inside no problem let's see here so we have about four or five inches up there and oh we have about a foot and a half back here wow that was awesome here but today's been a long day here we did quite a bit so i'm gonna get this garage door closed and i'm gonna head inside so until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more